this is your daily briefing and you're most welcome to it. Um, Sad to hear the news that um, Jimmy Greaves has passed away and I don't think it's the right way to do things for me to crib some notes and um, you know speak to camera. I don't think there's much going to be much sincerity or warmth to all that. So what I'd like to do is after the Chelsea game, um, uh, and I mean tomorrow, opposed to later today, we seize the return of the legendary Hotspurs Half Hour podcast um, with my old mucker, one Dave Mackay. ODM will be able to talk to us a little bit about Greaves and um, say things on the right note with a sense of authority and, um, and compassion. And, you know, I know people have got to report news, but I'd just like to do it the right way if that's possible. So that's what we're going to do. Tottenham are set to reward Oliver Skip with a brand new contract extension. It's an extender. Um, up to £40,000 a week is rumoured to be the boys' um, new salary, and that deal would ex- extend and run until 2025. I think Oliver might be able to get a little bit more, um, and that's based purely on his numbers. It's not based on hope. Um, Mike McGrath from the Times, again, paywall alert, how much real truth is there to this? Tottenham training was delayed yesterday to allow the Croatian, or the trio from Croatia, to return from quarantine and prepare for the Chelsea game. So again, that's seeing Romero, Lo Celso and Sanchez back at the ranch. I would be absolutely delighted, if not stunned, to see how close to match fit were they, they, any of them are. Um, Tuchel on um, Harry Kane. I thought Kane to, to Saman City would happen. We never had a list with his name on it, but the club sorted out the situation. We had some information about Kane, Kane but it was never that close. We had to experience the rivalry. <sighs> I, I think they might have got a brochure through the post from from uh, from Charlie Kane, but again, there wasn't anything there. It was just a, just a sort of flat thing. And to be honest with you, I don't think the papers ran with it either. I don't think the papers were manipulated. I mean, like the Triore to Spurs thing, agent put in a lot of hours to make sure that kept on appearing in the, the back pages. Um, so we've got a couple of good pieces here the one one is involving um, and again it's from the sun and that's a comparison between uh, Romelu Lukaku and Harry Kane um, and it's just going through the huge difference there is between the two players this season very small s- s- uh, snapshot sample group of games and what have you but nevertheless I think the conclusion is 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 overwhelming um, Chelsea star dominates the head-to-head battle with Harry Kane ahead of Sunday's London derby the Belgian trumps Kane in the golden boot race shots on target dribbles touches and duels which was does not bode well for the North Londoners and I'll bring you the betting latest um, before we go um, Chelsea travel for the 430 kickoff at the Spurs Stadium and it's the battle of the front men with Kane and Lukaku differing both in form and mindset. Both having played three games this season with Lukaku averaging a goal per game. And my conclusion is that one of them plays for a functional football team. Um, Tottenham have faced 70 shots already and have created fewer big chances than Norwich City. Nuno Espiritu Santo got off to a flying start but cracks are appearing to show um, Chelsea game, uh, the Crystal Palace game, <laughs> those words I'll say for tomorrow. Um, Crystal Palace game was absolutely miserable um, and it's all about the lack of creativity. What's the solution? Well, we didn't buy anybody to provide that creativity and we're still here. It's like being in a doctor's waiting room and the doctor's gone home, waiting for Deli Alley, waiting for Lo Celso. Um, is it, it, is, it is possible, and this is Danny Murphy, I think we, we um, lift it, uh, go into here, and this is from the Daily Mail. Good piece from Danny Murphy, can be a little bit kind of, but he, he's talking absolute truths here. Um, it is possible for Tottenham to sh- shock Chelsea in a one-off London derby, but to talk about them as being part of a Premier League Big Six doesn't make sense anymore. We've got to the stage where realistically there's a big four, City, United, Liverpool and Chelsea, who've all been Champions League qualifiers for the last two years. And Danny thinks he'll be gobsmacked if that isn't the case again. 
Um, I can't see the situation changing for a few years. And yet, and, it, and again, he, he says, yet given the strength and depth of those clubs already at the top and their ability to spend when required. Can you hear me, Daniel? Um, Tottenham have done a, have a great deal of prestige in history, but it's irrelevant to call them part of a big six when they finish below Leicester for the last couple of seasons. To be part of a group that's elite, you have to be competing for the major trophies. Spurs are on a different playing field at the moment. Qualifying for the Europa next season will be regarded as a good first term for Nuno Spirito Santo. Um, I'm, I, won't, I won't say these are the comedy items, but bless him. Um, Tottenham are, are aiming to make t today's match against Chelsea the first zero-carbon match stage in elite football, teamed up with Sky Sports to reduce emissions as far as possible, encouraging fans to take public transport, which is great if you live nearby and think you can find somewhere safe to leave your bicycle, um, and choose plant-based food inside the stadium. I had a look around this morning. There are five outlets and there are five vegan options. It is ambitious. It is an ambitious start for uh, for an event to, expected to attract fifty thousand fans, and the club have pledged to make any make up any shortfall with it with with an investment in carbon offsets. Wait until Daniel sees the bill. I bet he'll be absolutely delighted. And Sky reporter Jeff Shreves will be cycling to the game. So uh, there you go. I bet he. I bet he's really happy about that. Um, Spurs are working with a carbon measurement firm to calculate the emissions and hope to have a full breakdown. And I'm sure there'll be questions asked if they don't have a full breakdown. Um, the betting, the bookies tend to know. Um, Chelsea are significant favourites, as you can imagine. Spurs were four to one the win, and that went out to nine to two in most places while I was compiling these notes. Um, the draws five to two. Visitors are seven to ten for the away win. Um, crazy, crazy bet of the day from me. Joe Roden, first goal scorer from a corner, two hundred and seventy-five to one. So there you go. Good luck. Keep it Tottenham.